Okay, today I'm going to show you how to complete a titration calculation. So we're going to have a quick recap about what a titration is, and then we're going to see how we could use it to find the concentration of an acid. So, a quick recap first of all. So here is the equipment for a titration. We have a burette and a conical flask. So the burette's job is to slowly, we turn this tap, and little by little we allow acid to fall down into my alkali. Um, this, is, this type of reaction is a neutralization reaction because we've got an acid reacting with an alkali to produce salt and water. The very, very second that this solution is neutralized, we will have an instant color change. So my indicator will change color and I will know exactly how much acid was required to neutralize this. So in this experiment, I have made this solution here. I've made this up myself. So I know exactly the volume of this solution that I've made and I've deliberately controlled the concentration. I've made this so I know the concentration of my alkali. The whole purpose of what we're doing is we're trying to find the concentration of this acid. Because we know exactly 25 centimeters cubed of this acid was required to neutralize this alkali, but we don't know the concentration of the acid. So the whole point is to find the concentration of the acid. So the first, first thing you need to do is write the balance symbol equation, which I've got right here. So sulfuric acid plus sodium hydroxide goes to sodium sulfate plus water. Right, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to write down the information from my experiment underneath each part. So I've got 25 centimetres cubed of that. And I've got 20 centimetres cubed of this. And I've also got 0 0.2 moles per decimetre cubed of sodium hydroxide as well. So I've got a volume and a, and a concentration for this one. For this one, I only know a volume at the moment. So remember, the whole point is I'm trying to find the concentration of this. But I can't do it straight away. and We'll see why in a second. So the first thing we need to do whenever we're dealing with titrations, we need to convert centimetres cubed into decimetres cubed. So to do that, I need to, do, uh, need to divide by 1,000. So 25 divided by 1,000 equals 0 0.025 decimetres cubed. And 20, so this one I'm converting as well, 20 divided by 1,000 equals 0 0.02 decimetres cubed. So I'm just going to update these. Uh, that's decimeters cubed, and this is 0 0.020 decimeters cubed. Okay, now I've converted it, because whenever we're dealing with titrations, we need these units to be in decimeters cubed. Right, now what I need to do next is at the moment, well, I'm going to use this equation triangle, basically. So my equation triangle right here, oops, my equation triangle right here looks like this. I have N. C times V. N stands for number of moles. C stands for concentration. And V stands for volume. Now remember, what number of moles means is just the number of molecules that are reacting within a particular experiment. The concentration and the volume we have right here. So the reason why I can't find the concentration of this yet is in order to uh, use an equation triangle, I need two of the three parts. At the moment, I only have the volume. So to find the concentration, I need to find the number of moles of this. Now, this is the clever part. First of all, I need to find the number of moles of my sodium hydroxide. So to do that, all I need to do is I cover up my N because I'm trying to find the number of moles. So I need to do concentration times volume. So I'm going to use these numbers here. So to find my number of moles, so remember that's just the number of molecules reacting in this experiment, I need to do my concentration, which is 0 0.2 moles per decimeter cubed, and multiply it by my volume, which is here, 0 0.02 decimeters cubed. Ooh. So let's have a look. So I do 0 0.2 times 0 0.02, and my answer is 0 0.004. So that's the number of moles reacting, the number of moles of sodium hydroxide. So I'm just going to add that bit of information under here to help me out, 0 0.004. 
Now, here's the really clever bit. Because the, what we need to do next is find the molar ratio. So I'm looking at my, um, my symbol equation and I'm looking at the ratio of sulfuric acid molecules to sodium hydroxide molecules. As I can see, for every one, uh, one mole, oh sorry, every mo one molecule of sulfuric acid reacts with two molecules of sodium hydroxide. So my molar ratio is one to two because one mo uh, molecule of that reacts with two molecules of that. So I now can find my number of moles of this because for, if the, the number of moles of sodium hydroxide is 0 0.004, to find out, because it's a, a 1 to 2 ratio, to find the number of moles of sulfuric acid, I need to divide this by 2. So I'm going to do 0 0.004 divided by 2, which equals 0 0.002. So that there is my number of moles. So I'm going to write this up here, 0 0.002. So you can now see, now I've got my volume and my number of moles of my sulfuric acid. So now I can use this equation because I've now got two parts that I need to find my concentration. So my concentration, all I need to do is cover up my C so I need to do N divided by V. So my concentration equals my number of moles, which is this. I've managed to find from my molar ratio, which is 0 0.002. And dividing by my volume, my volume is here, divided by 0 0.025. And then I just need to put that into my calculator. 0 0.002 divided by 0 0.025. 0 0.025 equals, the answer is 0 0.08, and because it's concentration, my units are moles per decimeter cubed. So, just to recap, first thing that you need to do is write down your information. You then need to convert everything to decimeters cubed. You could then find the number of moles uh, of so that reacted of sodium hydroxide. Then, by looking at the symbol equation, you need to find the molar ratio. From the molar ratio, you could figure out the number of moles of sulfuric acid that reacted. And the final step is to use this equation again to find the concentration of the acid, because that's what we set out to do in the first place. Thank you very much.